G'day, Nigel Lee from Sax School. Today I'm looking at the Leisure Signature Series Reads for Saxophone. Now, those of you who will know me will know that I've not been a fan of synthetic reeds. I've tried them loads of times over the years for all different styles of playing, whether I'm playing in a symphony orchestra, whether I'm playing in a big band or doing a TV session. I've tried them in all sorts of settings and I've always found that they came up a bit short, but I had the opportunity recently to try the Leisure reeds. In the past, I actually tried some um, of the studio cut reeds uh, from Leger, and I wasn't that bothered. They, they seemed a bit thin to me. But the new ones I've tried are the Signature Series, and I have to say, these are the most amazing synthetic reeds I have ever tried. I absolutely love these. They sound fantastic, they play great. And in fact, I got the chance to try them on my alto and my tenor, and now I've actually gone and got them myself for the soprano and for my Barry as well. So I'm playing on them on all of my saxophones and I think they're absolutely fantastic. So what are these Leger reeds? Well, they're a synthetic reed, so that's what they look like. It's uh, clear, you can actually see through them, uh, and they come in quarter sizes, which is kind of interesting. And that's one of the things I wasn't sure about when I first started trying them out. Now, Leger are pretty clever. They've got a, a pretty comprehensive um, comparison chart. So whatever brand of reeds that you're playing on, you can actually find the com comparable strength in the Leger reeds, and it's important to do this. What I found after a bit of experimenting is um, actually I'm playing a slight, maybe a quarter of a size harder reed on the Leger from what I used to play on my standard Van Doren reeds with my mouthpieces before. So for me it's worked out that I'm using a quarter size harder on my alto, I'm using a, a two and three quarters whereas I was using a two and a half Van Doren. And on my soprano I'm using a three and a quarter, whereas I was using a three Van Doren reed before. My tenor's the same, I've got two and a half Leger signature on there, I was using a two and a half reed before. And on my Barry I'm using a two and a half Leger, whereas I was using a two and a half Van Doren before. When I made this Gotta Get You Into My Life multi-sax video, I actually tested them out and I used my Leger reeds on all of the saxophones and I was really happy with the sound. The response of it all the way over the range is fantastic, with from right down low to right up in my altissimo, I can just get the saxophone to sound all the time. And the sound is a little bit, got a little bit more bite to it perhaps than what I had before, but I can still get a smooth sound out of the saxophone as well. The best thing about these Leger reeds is they're so stable. So in my studio, I'm playing my saxophones all day, every day, but from one day to the next, normally I would need to work on my reeds, get my reed, uh, you know, just smooth them out, that kind of thing. With the Leger reed, every day I play, they're exactly the same. So for me, that makes a massive change because it's a lot less time that I need to spend working on my reeds more time I can spend practicing and recording and doing things like that. So those are the Leger Signature Series reeds. They're a bit more expensive than a normal reed. In fact, one of these will cost you like what you'd pay for a whole box of reeds. But I think for the stability, for the um, you know consistency, it's definitely worth it. I really urge you to check these out. So the Leger signature series reads.